the Bastilodon solar engine, the Lizardmen's missile slash artillery anti-air of choice. This big chunk of dino is one of the few tough artillery units in the game. His main selling point is of course his ranged attack which has magical and fire damage not to mention blinded as well and his missile strength is pretty beefy although lacking a lot of armor piercing. His melee attack isn't fantastic at only 22 which means he needs to use his charge bonus if you want to try and get anything out of him in melee. He also causes terror so great for late game cycle charging. When it comes to battle usually two of them in one army is a good idea as they're a great way to make up for the lizard men's lack of long range missiles and as such are best off using their ammo for taking down the enemy large, single entities, monstrous infantry, cavalry, because these things are hard to deal with for the lizardmen infantry, as they usually can't hold on to them. If you want to use them in melee, best to wait until you've used up all the ammo preferably, and keep cycle charging around because that melee attack is rubbish. So quite simply, keep them both spread out, keep them firing on any of the large important units like the Lord, like the cavalry, blood knights here, there's a terror geist over here you could take down, and don't forget the magical and fire damage of the missile attack which could be advantageous especially against factions like the vampire counts who have weaknesses to both of those things. But otherwise just focus down those strong enemy large units although be aware they may need some help if cavalry or monsters come after them. When it comes to campaign you'll probably only want a couple of units of them as well just to have that longer range missile option and some anti-air choice. Half an army of them probably isn't going to do too well. So big snappy dinos for the lizards capable of filling a hole in the lizard man's game. That was Bastillodon Solar Rangers in 100 seconds.